History is fun, yeah! Hello, people! Today I'm gonna be talking about Frederick Chopin. No, dude, that's wrong. Wait, what? Oh, it's a Frederick Chopin. Chopin, are you serious? No? Uh, okay, it's Frederick Chopsticks. Chopsticks, just read the thing. But I'm just reading it from the script. Come on. Okay, okay, it's Frederick. I'm. Just Google it, dude. Just Google it. Just gonna Google it. How to pronounce Frederick Chopin? Frederick Chopin. Oh, it's Frederick Chopin. Yeah, it's Chopin. Now go redo the intro. So okay, people. Today I'm gonna be talking about Frederick Chopin. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Frederick Chopin was born on the 1st of March, 1810. He was a Polish composer and a virtuoso pianist of the Romantic era. Chopin was born in Zelazowa Wola in the Duchy of Warsaw. He was so good that people refer to him as a child prodigy. What is a child prodigy, you ask? Well, I will tell you, audience. A child prodigy is basically someone who's under the age of 10 who has the same amount of ability as an adult. So Chopin was that good. So most of Chopin's compositions are for solo piano, but he also wrote a few chamber pieces. So let's talk about education. From September 1823 to 1826, Chopin attended the Warsaw Lyceum. So throughout his school period, he continued to compose and to give recitals in concerts and salons in Warsaw. He was then engaged by the inventors of the Aeolo Melodicon, Aeolo Melodicon, which is basically a combination of a piano and a mechanical organ. And in May 1825, he performed his own improvisation and, a, and part of a concerto by Mosulis on this instrument. The performance was so successful that it led to an invitation to give a recital on a similar instrument called the Aeolo Pantaleon, Aeolo Pantaleon before Tsar Alexander I who was visiting Warsaw. So the Tsar, Tsar was the Tsar Alexander, right? The Tsar presented him with a diamond ring. Whoa, that's cool. Man, I wish you would give me a diamond ring. Dude, focus. Okay, 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 sorry, sorry. Just keep going. Then Chopin performed his first Rondo Opus 1 on the Elio Pantaleon concert on 10 June 1825. So let's talk about his famous compositions. What are his most famous compositions? One of them you probably would know, it's called Nocturne Opus 9, number 2. Here's how it sounds. Alright, so now we know that Chopin is an incredible musician and composer. But unfortunately, from 1842 onwards, Chopin showed signs of a uh, serious illness. So after that year onwards, um, he became more and more sick and he could hardly move. So Chopin died in an apartment place in Verdome, Paris on 17 October 1849. I know it's sad but uh, you know but you know he left a lot of amazing pieces for us so thank you Mr. Chopin. Now let's move on to Fun Facts! So interesting facts about Chopin. 
The first one is Chopin played the piano in the dark throughout his entire life. He would always put out the candles in the room. Even when playing at an event or a party, he would ask the people to extinguish the lights in the room. He was shy and only gave around 30 public concerts in his lifetime. The second fun fact is Chopin, when he was living in Paris, he needs a way to make money, right? So he built up a network of wealthy people he would give piano lessons to. But because he was very humble and he was very mo modest, he would not ask them for money. So instead, his students would just leave the money inside his coat while he turned away. Because <laughs> he's that humble, man. Be like Chopin. Just be humble, guys. The third fun fact is that Chopin's minute waltz doesn't mean minute as in time measurement. It means minute as in small. That's why people were like, wait, it's, it's called minute waltz, but how come it's not a minute? Because it's not a time measurement, it's a size measurement. It means minute, not minute. So it's called minute waltz. It means a small waltz. So there you have it. This has been a short explanation of Chopin. Hope you guys enjoy my explanation and uh, see you guys next time. Bye! History is fun, yeah!